optimism, kindness, community, connecting, yeah, loving, looking into your lover's eyes, looking into your dog's eyes, looking into your children's eyes, literally produce super compounds in your body. Little acts of kindness. So yeah. if I just open a door for a stranger, yeah. that's it. Open yeah. a door, oxytocin, yeah. serotonin, yeah. moon boost, boom, think voltage. So if I think food, yeah. it's alive, it's yeah. whole, it's not processed and dead, right? right? You want to share in that power yeah. that 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 onion is like i'm not dying i'm excited about people taking responsibility for their life mm -hmm. i'm excited about them moving forward in a solution for their life there's just another way of doing things hey you guys erin and dusty here and welcome back to eat move rest so today we've got a very special guest with us we are talking to our good friend darren olean you guys have probably heard of him by now if you haven't already definitely go check out his hit netflix series with yes. zach efron called down to earth it's equal parts <laughs> entertainment and infotainment so he is literally like the god of superfoods he is a wealth of information wisdom and knowledge you guys are not going to want to miss this yes so we've had the pleasure of hanging out with darren he's actually been on the channel a couple of times so you guys probably have seen him in previous episodes if not you definitely want to go check those out but this episode this conversation with him was easily the best we've ever had mind-blowing like i can't <laughs> wait to go back and listen to it again because there's so many nuggets <laughs> the dude is like just buzzing okay like talk about high vibes darren is the source we talk about whole foods eating moving and resting your best we talk about being contagious in a good way in a positive way and we talk about water which has been <laughs> something Aaron and i are so into recently you guys are going to want to probably watch till the end the end it gets, <laughs> it just gets so mind-blowing when it comes to water we know a lot of you guys have yeah. asked us about water lately we've got to dial it back and look at the water and the hydration going into our cells into yeah. our bodies the voltage and like dusty said the energy even the state of our own mind so let's see what darren has to say about all that totally <laughs> hey darren how's it going hey how are you guys good man doing how are you? good it's been a wild wild year huh yeah it has been very you know crazy on the one hand and exciting on many others you know you can't you can't have this much this much craziness happening on happening without yeah some equal and opposite yeah. uh quantum push it's been a great year and like the best and the worst you guys in Nebra nebraska right now we are yeah we did uh make it out to california for that couple of months um late october through december yeah in the midst of all of that i started to feel really horrible yeah. and i was like this can only mean one thing i've had this feeling oh. before <laughs> took a pregnancy <laughs> test took another one just to yeah. double check and sure enough we were Baby expecting. Two. Wow, so when, when are you due? Um, July, like the very beginning of July. Could so we're, a, we're going from a, another major holiday baby. Oh, so that's coming in. That's not yeah, that far away. I'm like halfway through right now. So I guess first and foremost for all of our audience, you guys have got to know Darren Olean by now yep. from the hit Netflix series. If you haven't watched it, yep. definitely go check out Down to Earth with Zac Efron and yep. Darren. You guys are awesome. It was like the perfect balance of both information and entertainment yeah. and just so cool to see you travel the globe and open our eyes to so many things. I think water was like the most interesting thing for us. Yeah. I mean, so, we've, you, Aaron and I obviously have had the pleasure of kind of getting to meet and hang out with you a couple of times in these last few years. And we've been reading, you know, we, we read super life years ago and we've been drinking Shakeology for <laughs> well, really super long time. Like and so we've so been a fan years. of yours for, for forever, but we're feeling uh, super excited for you because you you've uh, blown up this year mm -hmm. and um, i told dusty it's like he's the superfood hunter like exposing <laughs> us to all of these amazing superfoods that everybody like gets really into and i'm like yeah. you are like that hidden superfood <laughs> this gem full of knowledge and wisdom and now the world has been exposed to darren right, right. so like you're the superhuman you know going back and just everybody's finding super life your book and your one to one tribe app yeah baruka nuts which we absolutely love so and your podcast has become our favorite 
For so, sure. We love the fatal conveniences. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for sitting down with us again today to chat. We, uh, we've got a, about a million questions that we'd like to ask. 999,999. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go now. <laughs> I guess first and foremost, like we are eat, move, rest. So like, we kind of want you to break down like how you eat, move, rest your best. Like yeah. what is a day of eating look like for you? Like what superfoods are you implementing? And yeah, just walk us through a typical day. Yeah. Well, right now I'm eating like some dark chocolate with uh, medicinal mushrooms in it. Oh, <laughs> it's a nice little cheat with some super dark chocolate from the Amazon uh, oh. and some uh, chaga and reishi and maitake and shiitake mushrooms. So oh. um, that's kind of a nice little mid-morning blast. But um, <clears throat> Eat, move, rest. Exactly. Every day. Uh, you know, it does start with getting to bed early. So it's your, your morning or your day starts with how you prepare at night, right? So shutting things down, turning off the, you know, the tablets uh, blasting us with blue light, which uh, hurts the melatonin production. So you can't it's harder to fall asleep, harder to drop into the deep uh, resting yeah. uh, recovery states of sleep. So certainly that, obviously, I've got the blue blocking glasses on yeah. when staring at. And, and not all the light. It's not necessarily always bad to look at a screen, mm -hmm. but it's certainly extremely de detrimental at night. Right. That blue that blue light actually increases uh, metabolism and energy. Yeah. So not so bad in the morning because that's that's what light does. Sure. So so preparing yourself at night, getting obviously a good rest. Uh, you know, shooting for eight uh, hours of sleep. I go to bed about eight thirty ish. Mm -hmm. Wake up anywhere between four and four thirty, mm -hmm. um wow. and you know just go to right to water uh structured water i got some new technology some uh, vortexing technology coming out awesome. in these little cool pictures based on fibonacci fe yeah. based on um uh structuring and the mo molecular uh uh, clustering of water. So that's really fun. A lot of, a lot of work, um, been recently, uh, in touch with Dr. Lee Lorenzen, who, uh, contributed largely to, uh, Dr. Emoto's work as well. Okay. Uh, so he's a master at water. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, go into the water, go into meditation, uh, uh, go into stream of consciousness writing, yeah. uh, and really just ideas and concepts. I just allow to come in and, and come kind of not thinking and kind of heart centered inspiration, passion, let it out. What do I want? Where am I going? Who am I? What do I desire? What are my passions? What am I connected to? Uh, you know, what, what do I care about in the world? What do I care about for myself? All of those things are kind of this dump in the morning after yeah. the meditation. And then I, and then I move into kind of like that action list mm -hmm. yeah. so as that kind of subconscious comes out through the stream of consciousness writing, then that will move kind of naturally into the to-do list. So once I've kind of set myself of what, what I'm doing, where I'm going, my trajectory, my compass, then that can easily make me tune into the things that I'm actually taking on and doing during, during the day. Um, and then, you know, that being said, right before that, I'll make elixirs, I'll make, you know, little you know, from adaptogenic herbs to cacao to matcha green tea, mm -hmm. you name it, I'll be drinking that. It's nice and nice little morning uh, ritual elixir. Yep. And then then that will move me into moving. Um, so We've so then, you know, uh, they're pretty intense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, a lot of functional movement stuff. Like this morning, I just uh, did like I think 12 to 15 sprints up up this little mountain 
Yeah. And then I came and just did some functional movements. So yeah, so that that movement happens about eight. So 8 a.m. typically. Um, and then I'll eat my first meal after the workout. So it's usually around 10 a.m. Yeah. Um, and I typically will lean on just mounds of beautiful fruit. Yeah. Um, so tons of berries and, and colors and bananas and apples and, and seasonal, whatever the seasonal fruits are, but that's, I mean, we're talking massive bowl and then yeah. Baruca nuts, um, uh, Baruca fruit mm -hmm. on there. Sometimes I'll take raw living spirulina and put it into that mix. Um, sometimes even, uh, uh, bee pollen and, you know, you can play with all kinds of moringa will dust in there. I'll put shakeology in that and kind of make like a bowl, like, right. So make that kind of mix in that bowl. I'm not even drinking many smoothies actually, unless I'm on the road, but it's yeah. usually kind of a bowl situation poured over fruit. Yeah. So that's my first meal. And then, and then I'm working uh, and then maybe I'll have a little green tea later and then it's really one more meal. Yeah. And, and that's usually now it's kind of, yeah. potatoes and yams and and soups and and always a massive salad yeah so, and that's that's i mean that's kind of it you know it's it sounds it's, epic. It, it's it sounds just, like ours but yeah. even more like into like the superfoods like i heard you talk a lot about the medicinal mushrooms and yeah. we're super fascinated in those and yeah yeah that's just it sounds great and i love what you said about like your day actually starts the night before and how you prepare yourself and totally. i know that's that's huge you know even like not eating too late before bed it's i'm like, i'm usually done eating by five wow yeah. I love that. You know? We've been eating super early lately, especially in winter. It, it winter time helps because the sun sets so much earlier. And I find the earlier we eat, the better I sleep, no matter what. And, and I don't, ha I don't feel like that foggy feeling. Like right. you know, you get kind of that brain fog. Like you just feel tired. Like you didn't get quality sleep. Right, because your body's busy digesting food. You know, I, what I love too, Darren. Again, we've been we've been fortunate enough to come out and hang out with you and see you your and see your land. And I love how just natural you live, man. I mean, mm -hmm. your workouts aren't, you know, getting in the car, driving to the gym and doing all, all of these things, texting and listening to podcasts. You're just like, look, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat these natural foods. I'm going to go out and run up the hill and maybe push some boulders around and like do all these like real things. It's like you live this, this uh, like caveman-esque life in the modern world and i just love it it's just so like cool. super intentional and intuitive right and i on the netflix series i was like i wonder if he'll mention that he's vegan but i like that you don't necessarily preach like you mm -hmm. have to be plant-based you have to be vegan but it's just again it's just intuitive it's, it's how you eat it's how you live and you're super ripped for oh, yeah. you know like eating only plants, which a lot of people think isn't possible. Yeah, I mean, thank you. It's 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 just, you know, it's quality, 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 whole food. It's got everything. There's no nutrient that meat has given me that I can't get from plants. If it's so hard for the body, which it is, to break down flesh of another being and it stimulates inflammation and it stimulates the response of white blood spells in the immune system because you're taking in you know, largely diseased yeah. flesh, but even if it's organic and fair trade and all it's dead flesh. Right. So the body has to attack it yeah. to, to sterilize that, which it's being, you know, hit with. So, you know, I look at that, I'm like, I'm eliminate the middleman. Like yeah. I, I can find B12 and nutritional yeast. I can find it in raw living spirulina you don't need that much of it. The microbial experience in your in your digestive system also is helping to convert B12. So that that is not an issue. Iron I can find all over the place, yep. uh, infinitely in green leafy vegetables and exactly. and 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 in spirulina again and moringa. And it's like it doesn't matter. I just go to quality, quality, quality diversification. Yeah. Uh, get fiber it, we should switch and flip this whole thing of don't worry about protein you're going to get protein if you're not eating processed crap 
Yeah. And you need a diversification of food. You're going to get your protein. And the cool thing is it comes in at about 10 to 15% of your pro of your overall calories from protein. And that's exactly what you need. Cause if you yeah. go over that, then it starts creating some genetic, some DNA uh, expressions that you don't want. Right. Largely we're pretty protected from a plant-based perspective, but you know, the new, if you guys haven't uh, checked out T Colin Campbell's new book, uh uh the future of nutrition you're gonna your mind is gonna blow because he goes through a hundred years of science compromised information based on usda he goes into the direct science of how they've been suppressing animal-based cancer causing um research for this entire time oh man it's like you know it's another form of corruption yeah and so yeah. He, he's sitting in 65 years of research. Yeah. He's, yeah. Been on, he's been running the NIH. He's yeah. been on every possible uh, board you can possibly imagine. He's been behind the science. So he breaks it all down. And you're just like, see, this guy yeah. you know, he lived his life this way. Right. So it's like, again, it's kind of simple. Right. You know, a wide variety of fruits and vegetables and colors and get the micronutrients and the antioxidants and get the fiber please get right. the fiber because that's going to feed the microbiome and the microbiome is behind feeling good it's behind the uptake of nutrients and actually creating nutrients inside of yourself it's behind you your immune system yeah. it's behind you just feeling getting out of any mental fog it's behind just the supporting of the immune system right. you know fiber 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 is is kind of the focus so yeah we hear so many people talk about should i be on a probiotic what's the best probiotic and we do take them from time to time love it but more importantly yeah. we think is like you're saying the fiber because of that yeah. prebiotic you know that that microbiome that, that food matter that's feeding our probiotic gut flora if you're yeah. feeding the good guys they're going to proliferate and your gut's going to operate better you're going to start to crave healthier foods yeah. and you know even going back to like eating meat versus eating all plant-based it's like it's not always what you're eating it's what you're absorbing right and if you're eating meat you're gonna and animal products leaky gut then you're not absorbing what you're eating but if you're eating all plants it's like it's more nutrient dense you're absorbing more of it yep. and you're gonna thrive it's not just like we're getting by we're actually we're not just surviving we're able to thrive so totally. yeah people that's the one thing that that we always tell people to their question is well where do you guys get your protein and it's like look the what is it quash your core is like an actual protein deficiency and like less than a third of a percentage or something of people in the world actually have a protein deficiency, but like 97% of the population is deficient in fiber. And so it's like, dude, we're totally focused on the wrong thing here. And sadly, the humans that do suffer from protein deficiency, it's they're suffering from caloric deficiency. Right. You know? So if we could be planting more plants in all of these you know, empty spaces where it's just filled with livestock, we could be feeding more people. There'd be totally. less people starving, less people with protein deficiencies. I'm excited about that book that you mentioned. We're going to have right. to read it. We were actually on someone else's podcast yesterday and they were asking about, you know, what's the, what's our future look like? What's 2050 going to look like? And we're like, well, that totally depends on if people actually get on board with, with what I feel like people actually are, you know, plant-based diet is now more popular than obviously it ever has been and it's super good news like Aaron just said we, we can save so much land so much water so many resources by switching from a meat-based you know way of living and feeding our planet to more plant-based well, the, the world in 2050 will be a t completely different place so yeah, it's, you know animal agriculture is just from every angle so unsustainable from yeah. every angle of breaking it down to water usage to land usage to why would you invest into an area that you know won't work for the growing population i don't right. understand 
And so the problem is we as people need to push back on this factory farming and we need to push back more importantly on the subsidies. Yeah. Our taxes, our taxes are going to the government. That government is subsidizing meat production, factory farming, horrible conditions. Yeah. That is our money. Right. That is our taxes going towards something that we don't have a vote in. Right. So what we can do is not eat that crap. Right. So a lot of things benefit that way. Yeah. Children benefit, you benefit. Oh, it pushes back on companies that don't care about you. Yeah. That mm-hmm. care infinitely better more on a bottom line. Oh, so yeah. when you push back on that and you don't you you replace a meal, just start replacing one meal mm-hmm. that there was a calculation that if you replace one meal every day and then add one, so maybe on a weekend you replace two meals. So you have eight meals a week. Yeah. That sequesters as much carbon as it would be if you were driving around a Prius. Great. So That's instead great. of a gas ca- powered vehicle, look at that individual yeah. to friend, to family, to, to village, city, I mean, everyone, if they just did that, number one, they'd be healthier. Right. Number two, it would change our economy and our pollution. Yeah. And it would help balance the environment. So, it's not, yeah, it's not in the hands of the government. The thing is that we have control. Right. We have more control than what we're allowing ourselves to do, but we have to mobilize and create healthier humans right. in the world and, and start with. Just stop eating food that is literally killing you. Right. Mm-hmm. So there, there's just another way of doing things. And, okay. and we have to empower ourselves more than ever. How do you want to view your life? And here's what I'm excited about. Yeah. I'm excited about people taking responsibility for their life. Mm-hmm. I'm excited about them moving forward in a solution for their life. Yeah. Like if something isn't working for your life, figure it out. Yeah, mm-hmm. like figure it out and move forward. Take res- ownership, uh, make amends, yeah. like mm-hmm. forgive yourself and move forward. Find solutions, and then come together with other people and find solutions moving forward. Oh. We have to, like Buckminster Fuller was great in the sense that he inspired people. Don't focus back here on the problem oh. because that problem would become your present and that present would become your future. And so why don't we focus forward, be aware of the situation, and now what can we do to yeah. live the kind of life that we want now? Yeah. Based on this information. Yeah. Are you going to just sit here in the worry, fear, shame, blame? Yeah. Or are you going to eat well, drink well, sleep well, move, get together with like minded people, be yeah. healthy, be happy, pass that forward, be kind humans? passing that along like that's that's the future oh. and and there's going to be you know a bunch of people that are not going to adopt any of that right. so okay yeah too See bad you later. like yeah. cool yeah good good on you right but See you later. See you later. Yep. Yeah. And it's, anyway, it's not enough time my to rant. waste time and energy and anger and resentment on trying super hard to twist somebody's arm and convince it's more like we have to lead by example right and have these conversations and be open to them and whoever wants to come along for the ride can we're moving but- forward your energy the energy that you bring is so inspiring and i i just feel like we all need that more in our lives mm-hmm. we talk about contagion and viruses and all these things it's like dude positive energy and, and these good vibes are also contagious. Like mm-hmm. find someone like you and find anyone that you're inspired by and just soak up that energy and share it. You know, be like a cloud, soak up that evaporation and just pour out into others. And so I love what you do and, and inspire. So, yeah. well, we know that now that Marta Zarska, who I just interviewed, she's a science writer. And we know that she was looking into... Um, all the different ways of how to live long yeah. uh, and live well. And of course, you would think nutrition and all that stuff. Well, 
over 600 research articles later, what she came to realize is optimism, kindness, community, connecting, yeah. loving, literally produced super compounds in your body. Yeah. <laughs> so we look outside. Listen, I'm the guy. I've, I've been looking outside forever, and there's a space for that, too. Right. Uh -huh. However, by connecting, looking into your lover's eyes, looking into your dog's eyes, looking into your children's eyes produces vasopressin, oxytocin, immune boosting compounds, yeah, right? Yeah. So the very thing that they're doing, you know, maybe with good intentions in this world right now is they're actually suppressing yeah, your yeah. ability to connect with other people. All of it, yeah. So, so we need to get back to those things and, and the, your immediate family. So we know that community, connection, all of this stuff is 60% greater for you than any of the other things that you can do really little little acts of kindness so yeah. if i just open a door for a stranger yeah. that's it open yeah. a door oxytocin yeah. serotonin yeah moon boost boom it's so true we all, we're all searching outside like we've got cabinets and cupboards full of superfoods and yeah. it's all great but we need to first realize we are super organisms and we have so much that we can access and unleash within yeah and then those other things are just kind of like the cherry on top almost like they don't really function optimally for you in your body unless you're doing these other things and doing the inner work. Yeah, no, I love that. You're, you're so right. I, I shared a video on Instagram, I think yesterday, and it was this person driving around in their car, honking at people and saying, I love your mustache. Like that's an awesome hat. And they were just going around and like complimenting random strangers on the street and I got so many replies. People love the video and it's gone viral. And it's so true. It's like, that's so much better for your health than, than any of yeah. these, you know, superfoods and getting the best night of sleep. It's like, just go smile at somebody and, you know, share a high five about something. And like, you'd be surprised how that makes you feel and changes your life. Right. right. And it also gets you out of your shell. You're right. Okay. So we're all like, it's vulnerable to be kind. It's so weird. Yeah, right? it's it's like oh don't do that don't pull down your mask and smile at someone <laughs> oh my god don't do that yeah. Like, yeah like so so it's it's you know this is the opportunity yeah and some people are going to take it and other others are going to bury their head in the sand right and and be in fear okay cool that's your life you have sovereignty to choose that yeah well i have sovereignty to do other things right and as long as we're not harming people, then then be the okay. kindness generator that you are, because it's literally going to help you. Yeah, it's literally going to proliferate yep. everywhere. Yeah, and then those people that don't want kindness, they're just going to be ejected naturally out of your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a, what an easy thing. Totally. Definitely. I'm gonna pivot a little bit because something that is just like brewing in my brain. And I think it's been like the past year, especially since the episode on down to earth, we really want to know your take on water. We've talked to you at length before, but for our audience, especially because right now what we're struggling with is we had an, our uh, countertop reverse osmosis machine, especially during pregnancy. I could not get water down. It just made me feel nauseous and the taste bothered me and we've since then invested in we're giving it a trial run we've got like yep. a um ph water machine on our countertop that's structured ph balanced water yep. um so we're kind of wondering your take because it seems like there's two camps like it's ro or structured ph water but they seem to butt heads yeah in the community and i'm not sure why so what is your take <laughs> on water we've just been like so interested in it lately you i think we first heard on rich roll years ago when you were on and you were talking about water as energy and i was like what what is he talking about water is just water it's clear it's dead it's there's nothing in it and so yeah your take on uh, and and so many people have mentioned to us too that their favorite episode was the water episode because water is not dead water is energy and water is life so yeah what's your what's your or, take or it's dead yeah. Or, 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 yeah. 
Right. And, and so, th- th- so, yeah, so many different rabbit holes with water, but yeah. um, so, so to answer your first question, um, there, there's a lot, of, you know, the word structure gets thrown around a lot, yeah. right? And, and there's a lot of different ways. Uh, you can influence water by, you know, emoting, like literally uh, words, yeah. Like I just referenced uh, Dr. Lee Lorenzen, Dr. Emoto, like th- these guys were at the forefront of literally scientifically showing that the water clusters were rearranging themselves ge- uh, from a geometry perspective yeah. based yeah. on words. Right. Wow. <laughs> yeah. so you're like, whoa, okay, so that's an energy, that's, a, that's quantum, yeah. that's physical, and that's chemical. Totally. And then as you ingest it, it's biological. So, so this is the, the world that water is living in, right? It's, 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 it's like this incredible entity, yeah. but, but also think of it as a blank hard drive. Yeah. Uh-huh. It doesn't, it, it will take on any information. Doesn't matter where it's coming from. Sure. Uh-huh. So, so water is a, goes through the pipes yeah it's not flowing the way water normally needs to flow which vortates through nature and chelates minerals off the ground and gets energized from the earth from the sun and gets uh, from electrolysis from the earth right so that's a natural form of electrolysis that's activating the water you need to have minerals and you need to have an energy there to create. Um, so minerals create uh, the ability for pH to be there. Now let's just unpack pH a little bit. Think of pH as voltage. Okay. Mm-hmm. So because people, and even in my book, I think I I would have flipped it a little bit in terms of just making it a little more simple alkalinization ph all of this stuff it's really voltage yeah every cell has voltage every cell dying is lower voltage every cell needing to heal the body increases its voltage yeah so we are constantly from a cell perspective from a body perspective from healing perspective from injury perspective from optimal health perspective the body is working in voltage yeah if you're taking in dead water you're taking in a low low voltage water which affects your body's ability to use it effectively so your body then has to use energy to to utilize it yeah to structure it itself yeah to then use it as a, as a hierarchy what needs it the most sure. let's use our energy to get the water that's required in the areas that that is of the greatest need yeah. usually the brain central nervous system blood uh, organs all of that stuff and then what suffers is eyes skin all of that other stuff lips you could dry be like out. guzzling and drinking more than a really recommended amount but your body isn't again absorbing totally. what you're taking in unless it's structured and we have water coming that's dead yeah uh at least it's not going to kill us directly right mm-hmm. so we've cleaned water we've made it convenient we can turn on our tap cool yeah. but it but has picked up things along the way yeah they have added uh consciously added chlorine yeah uh they've consciously added fluorides most places Mm -hmm. and then along the way it's it's taken on pesticides herbicides pharmaceuticals all of that stuff so everyone should get be at this point where you gotta filter your freaking water so your computer hard drive is essentially like loaded with viruses (laughs) good way great way to put it yeah So it's loaded full of crap. It has less ability to store information and work, right? Right. So you got to clean it. So you got to RO it. You got to distill it. You got to, you got to wipe it clean. So then you got to build it back up again. Sure. So, so you got to do that. So then from that perspective, it's not about, it's, it's a bad argument to say RO water 
and and electrolysis or manipulation of pH, it's it's like comparing an apple to an orange. Sure. Yeah. It's, it's a bad comparison. The yeah. apple's great. Orange is great. It's only yeah. part of it's only part of the problem. You, you don't want to live just on an apple. You don't want to live just on an orange. You want to eat both. That makes, makes sense. sense. Yeah. So you want to clean your water, and then you want to take on some form of from my point of view, which is why I developed the device to structure it. And you can put it in glass bottles and blue, blue, blue water love. And with, yeah. uh, you know, that the science based, you just put, mm -hmm. you know, a name on the love gratitude that definitely is structuring water and you're getting it out of plastic. So that's help helpful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the electrolysis, this is another form of manipulation but you have to have electrolytes in order for ph to be there a ph is only one indicator sure so you've eliminated the total dissolved solids and the total dissolved solids are everything that's yeah. in there it's not just the minerals like in the episode we didn't quite unpack it all right. we talked about tds as total dissolved solids from a mineral perspective yeah mm -hmm. but now as it comes out of your tap, it's got minerals yeah. and it's got a bunch of other junk in it. Yeah. Yeah. What, I, what I just talked about. So TDS is larger yeah. and it's got pollutants in there. So TDS includes that too. Right. Right. Yeah. So we need to be uh, understand that. So we need to clean it. And then, um, and then once we've cleaned it and you've added the electrolytes back in, Himalayan crystal salt. Now you can play with electrolysis. Now listen, there's a bunch of out of Japan and Kangen and all these mm -hmm. things have been around forever. And yeah. Yeah. Japanese have been way ahead. For sure. Why aren't we last on everything? The, yeah, they've just been way ahead on it for for huh? for a lot of the technology. So um I don't have a problem directly with those things. I have a problem with if it, the water's not taken care of before that. Sure. Uh -huh. Then you, then you're just if it's not filtered correctly before that. I don't know if they've made other changes, but you gotta filter it correctly before you start playing with right. the electrolysis, or else you're just it's just a ticking time bomb for other stuff. Sure. Right. That that makes so sense. so yeah. Again. From a structure perspective, there's a lot of different ways to structure it. There's cheap, there's also cheaper ways to do mm -hmm. it. Right. Rotation, getting back to, you know, Victor Schauberger was a master in observing nature and then as a scientist, including that. So so we put together this. I don't know if I even have. <laughs> so this is this is my I would turn it on, but I don't have the water filled up. Yeah. So if you look, if you look. Oh, um, there's a little propeller. Yeah. Oh, awesome. So this is all of the 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 geometry is exact geometry of Fibonacci. Right. And the ratios of Fibonacci and the rate of speed as it relates to the egg shape on the bottom, which you can't see. Yeah. Every angle in this whole thing. And then you just turn it on. If you can see it starting to spin, yeah. yeah, it doesn't have water in it, but that over a period of time structures the water, increases oxygenation, increases uh, hydrogen, yeah. and it forms molecular clustering that's more beneficial for the body. Love it. And there's different types of structuring you can do through mm -hmm. electrolysis as well. So I don't know if that helped anybody, but... <laughs> yeah. uh, what, no, would you, what would I always wonder, like, what do we recommend to people? What do they do if they're at home? Like, I don't have this much money to drop on a fancy device. Like you said, just start with filtering, like find a quality way to filter your water. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah there's a great, I mean, one of the great cleanest RO systems, the countertop is the AquaTrue. Yeah, yeah, that's what we have. Yeah, yeah so, so use the AquaTrue and uh, at least you've cleaned it. Yeah. Pinch of Himalayan crystal salt. Now you at least have a simulative minerals sure. and clean water. Yeah. Now the, the the poor man's version of structuring, put it, get get a glass bottle, 
Yeah. I love the glass bottle, right? right? Actually, Make it a blue one. <laughs> we have the blue. We actually have the blue water love bottles. With, we'll link yeah. it all in our description. Yeah. So then you can put the water in there. You can even shake it up a little more to get some energy, get some a little more oxygen saturation. Yeah. And and put it even bring it outside with you yeah, as you're fine. sitting there reading or whatever. And now the light is going through and the the it's being structured through the glass bottle. Yeah. So there's that's a great. And then as you I mean, this thing's gonna be a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so what and then you taste it, you feel yeah. it, and then it goes into your cells better, and it, it's just this whole thing. So um, so yeah, that's I mean, that's the mini master class on yeah that. that's on awesome water. i mean like you said when you get up in the morning you're not eating right away not even till after you exercise it's yeah. all about hydration so that's where people have to really start even before thinking and worrying too yeah. much about what superfood they're going to cram in their smoothie right and then just just to your point that you said about energy yeah so just quickly quickly on that yeah the number one downside or the number one side effect of dehydration is fatigue but most people don't realize that they either say well i think i'm hungry or i just need energy so they reach for a stimulant usually mm -hmm. right so when you're hydrated and you're in your cells so really quickly when your cells you guys open up pandora's box and me <laughs> <laughs> so when when water comes up against a cell it's got uh, the cell has a hydrophilic cell. It's a fatty acid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so the, the water can't absorb by itself, right? Yeah. Through electrolytes, it can go in and out through osmosis. But, but technically speaking, the water can't just go into a cell. Sure. But when it comes up against it, Dr. Gerald Pollack discovered that there's what's called the protons and electrons get pushed out from one another. Mm -hmm. And there's this tiny zone in between the water and the cell membrane that's called an exclusion zone, yeah. or it's called EZ zone. Yeah. And that exclusion zone, by the protons and electrons pushing out, it's des desalinated water. Mm -hmm. It's clean. Yeah. And by that action of the protons and the electrons being pushed out, creates energy. Yeah. Bam, like wow. a battery. It yeah. just charges itself. Yeah. <laughs> so literally drinking water. Yeah. And hitting the 70 trillion cells. Yeah. Literally yeah. like charges batteries. Right. Wow. So that action alone. So it's not carbohydrates, proteins, fats exclusively. Right. Mm -hmm. Water itself. Is energy is energy as it relates to coming up against cells. And largely they think that's how blood yeah. gets the energy and the ability to move because of the exclusion zone and the no friction, how it goes, because they technically from a, from a turbine perspective of the heart, yeah. they technically say that doesn't pump enough. Right. For the it doesn't, it's not strong enough alone to pump fluid all over the body. Right. Mm -hmm. And it gets this help from the energy yeah. of this exclusion zone and these, this electron exchange. Yeah. As well as that exclusion zone of no friction. Dude, I love it. That's so, so cool. It's energy, which I, that's like, that's the common denominator of our talk, whether you're smiling, waving, giving a compliment, eating the right foods drinking the right water it all boils down to having the right energy and creating that energy that. and there's so, so many just think, to so. just think voltage voltage when you voltage. think food think voltage so if i think food yeah. it's alive it's yeah. whole it's not processed and dead right right mm -hmm. keep that listen i love a good fermented bread like yeah. i got like i i eat things too but yeah. largely my large amount of calories are coming from fresh whole food yeah, because yeah. it has energy yeah right well, it's got high ph mm -hmm. it's got structured water in it already so wow all of a sudden now i'm like okay this just this blanket statement of whole food now has some context to it totally 
Right? You know, that, you know what? Okay. I don't think we were yeah. going in the same direction. <laughs> we have two quick things on the living food thing. Yeah. Um, we compost and we have a garden out back. We planted it with specific seeds, what we thought we'd eat a lot of. And all of a sudden all these cucumbers sprouted out. And yeah. I was like, we didn't plant cucumbers, did we? It was the <laughs> compost that we had added in from these living foods, yeah. the seeds from the cucumber in the compost sprouted yeah. up all these cucumbers because that's what wanted to grow. It was optimal, I guess. So totally. they sprouted up. So we think about living foods versus dead foods, like the, the cut of meat, right. totally dead. It's not, there's no, nothing that can be regenerated from that. So. No. And I pull and someone else was asking us, uh, I think we were on a live YouTube or something. And they were like, what do you mean by living foods? And I reached in and I pulled an onion, this old onion that was probably five weeks old out of the cupboard in the bottom of the deep dark dungeon of a cupboard <laughs> and this thing had sprouted it it had it's alive under there no no air no sun no light no what no water and this onion had sprouted like a six inch sprout and i'm like this is what we mean by eating living foods it's amazing just think, just think of that that amount of an life force that's yeah. there in order to move life forward totally and you want to share in that cycle yeah right? you want to share in that power yeah. that 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 onion is like i'm not dying right mm -hmm. i'm gonna do everything i can to live yeah. and like you said the flesh yeah. doesn't have that it's gone no. it doesn't and have really the like essence in it I'm looking across our kitchen. There's a butternut squash that's literally this. Uh, we've had it as long as I've been pregnant, almost. Yeah, <laughs> and it's still alive and like ready to chop. And totally fresh. Throw in the oven. It'll be good when we decide to eat it. It's it's good. It's just but, hanging out. It's listening to our good music. It's listening to our <laughs> positive vibes, just like our water. It's soaking everything up. And I don't know how it survived. The high long, voltage but... <laughs> life continues. So high voltage life. <laughs> well i think that might be a good place to wrap things for sure up. i love that maybe my, our new word for the year needs to be voltage high voltage <laughs> it's a good word. i love that i love it darren you you always bring the energy the knowledge obviously but but your energy is can is contagious and inspiring so thanks again good good time. contagion yes totally, <laughs> totally so yeah man well we appreciate you sitting down with us again tell us where people can find you where you want them to go and yeah well, you're, I gotta know where I'm gonna, to find. Be. I'm gonna know where I'm gonna be. I gotta know where I'm gonna be first. And sometimes, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, so I mean, darrenolean.com's got everything I'm doing on there. Uh, Darren Olean on all the social, uh, Instagram, I'm probably the most active. I haven't even, mm -hmm. I haven't even looked at Facebook in a year, so well, right, for sure, yeah. yeah. Um, well, but yeah, so yeah, charging forward, just totally. not stopping. I got to say, people need to go to your Instagram and look through all of your, I always look forward to the fatal conveniences. Yeah. And then when I see a new one pop up, I got to click over and listen to the podcast episode like right away. I just saw the one on crayons. I'm like, yeah. Max needs crayons. Now I got to figure this out. Now <laughs> but... where the hell are we finding the right kind of, I know Aaron's always texting me. This is what Darren just said about this thing. And I'm like, Vaseline. Oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> yeah. It's awesome though. We like the, the bad news that actually is good news. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's choices. If we're getting hit and if we're getting punched in the face and we don't realize we're being punched in the face, how are we supposed to, you know, make a change? And totally. so that's that's the obviously the we gotta you gotta bring things out of the dark closet in order for you know <laughs> shine a light. Well, thanks, bro. You you bring you shine a light on all on all of, uh, of the things that are you're helping so many people. You've got the recognition you've deserved for a long time this year. We're excited for you and um, excited for what you're going to continue to bring uh, in in weeks and months and years to come. So thanks thanks for being here with us today, and we'll be in touch. Thank you. You guys are awesome. I love I love the you're you're in Nebraska and you're charging in your life and. Uh, <laughs> shining your life and shining your light and i appreciate you guys thank totally. you so much thanks man congratulations on number two thanks. thank you well we'll bring them out soon and, and you can do your uh, your human didgeridoo like you did to max <laughs> <laughs> all right man have a good one peace bye <laughs>
We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.